Hi, this is Bill from Sparky Channel. Today I'm going to go over how to torque the various terminals on a home line plug on neutral main lug only panel. This panel is convertible so that it can become a main breaker panel if you add the appropriate main breaker. And it's invertible so that it can be installed quote upside down unquote if you like. Most of the torquing values can be found on a table on the inside edge of the panel itself. This column gives you lug type, this column gives you wire range, and this column gives you torque in pound inches. So we see that for main and neutral lugs with a wire range of 4 AWG to 250 MCM copper, the torque in pound per inch is 250. Now let's torque the main lugs. The first thing that I would like to point out is that there's a little stop built into these lugs. So push your cable until it hits that stop. There should also be a little copper showing where the cable goes into the lug. To torque the main lugs, I'll use my Milwaukee Digital M12 3 8 inch torque wrench. And with that, I'm using a 3 8 inch hex head bit. I'll tighten up the lug with the tool and then I'll start using it as the torque wrench. I have it set to 250 pound inch. I'll go slow until I get green LEDs showing up on the tool. And there it is right there. There's the green LEDs and you see it's 250 inch pounds. By the way, pound inch and inch pounds are the same thing. Now for the neutral main lug. I'll go ahead and tighten it up with the tool and now we're going to torque it and we're looking for green LEDs. There it is right there. I stopped right there and this one's 252 inch pounds. That's well within the plus or minus 2% that this tool is rated for. Now to torque the other hot main lug and we've used the tool. Now we're looking for that green LED. Let's go slow. Don't want to go beyond the torque level. 237. So there it is. I think it said 251. Yeah, 251. Now I'll torque a plug-on neutral style combination arc fault interrupter circuit breaker. And the torque value will be found to be written right on the circuit breaker. In this case, it is 36 pound inches. For this task, I'll use my Weeha torque screwdriver and I will set it to 36 inch pounds. First, I'll torque the neutral wire. Then I'll torque the black wire to the bronze colored terminal. Now let's look at the torque specs for the equipment ground bar. We have a 6 AWG copper ground wire which is to be torqued at 35 pound inches and then for between 10 and 14 AWG copper that needs to be torqued at 20 pound inches and then it says here that you can put three 12 gauge copper ground wires under one terminal and that is then 25 pound inches for the torque spec. Here I'll torque one 12 gauge copper ground wire at 20 pound inches. Here I'll torque three 12 gauge copper ground wires at 25 pound inches. And I'll torque the six gauge ground wire to 35 pound inches. I'll put a link in my video description for the Milwaukee Digital Torque Wrench. Here's a little information about it. The length is 23.2 inches. The wrench has variable speed from 0 to 100 RPM. It has data storage so that you can go right to your common torque specifications. In fact, it has the ability to store up to 28,500 events. This tool will need to be calibrated every year or 5,000 cycles. The available measuring units are foot-pounds, inch-pounds, Newton meters and kilogram centimeters. I'll also put a link in my video description for the Weha Torque screwdriver. Thanks. I hope this video was helpful.